copied the idea from James Charles. I said, hey, see this one. Your three last brain cells are just playing tennis. Don't you dare sit there and tell someone that they're trying to be somebody else when they're simply just being themselves. <laughs> Hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. A one, a two, a one, two, go. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey okay, guys, for today's video, I am going to be doing a New Year's look, but it's also gonna be like a mini chit chat, get ready with me. I feel like it's pretty hard for me to talk and do my makeup at the same time with a lot of my videos. And I am gonna be using some new brushes, thank God, because my other brushes, they're all dirty and I have to clean them and I'm gonna be traveling, so it's just, it's a lot right now. So I'm really grateful for this. This is the brush set sent to me by EIG Show. Well, they sent this to me. You guys can't see the detailing on this, but it's the little stuff that really counts. I swear. This is what the inside of it looks like. I've got these uh, individual brushes here. This makes me feel very fancy. You guys can't see the detailing on it. Cute. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it a little bit. Got an entire brush set in here. I'm gonna be using these today. But thank you guys so much for partnering with me on this video. Keeping the bills paid and the edges laid. Keeping the bills paid, the edges laid and everything a-okay. Hey, thank you to EIG Show. Eeg Show, Iggy Iggy. Heavy, heavy, do you want me? <laughs> hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but turns out the correct pronunciation of this brand's name is E Show. The IG is actually silent, so E Show. Just keep that in mind while you're watching the rest of the video. These are these. <laughs> Telling you these mesh mesh thingies, um, they come in handy. Trust me. My face has already been primed, by the way. I'm just gonna use their foundation F624 brush. All the information that you need will be down below in the description box. Oh, I'm not really used to foundation brushes being this small, but that's all right. That's okay. What is everyone doing for New Year's? There we go. Works better with the stippling motion. I think I've told you guys this already. It's kind of weird not working on New Year's Eve this year. Every year for the past, I want to say eight years, I've always worked coming into the new year. I'm going to use this tiny little concealer brush, the E36. This would actually be perfect for like detail work on the eye. I'm going to use that same foundation F624 brush to blend underneath here. And I usually use whatever brush I used for my foundation to blend my under brow concealer because it gives you a better blend so but really quickly though can we just discuss and talk about the things that we're not gonna do in 2019 because I feel like some of these things need to be said number one cancel culture the things that cancel culture has done to us it's actually really bad I feel like hounding celebrities for for what? Influencers as well. <laughs> it's like, do you, are you part of these people's lives? Do you know them personally? Just be canceling everybody everywhere. I don't get it. I feel like in a way it's almost kind of like digital mob mentality. People will cancel someone simply because other people are canceling them without even like looking into the reason as to why these people disagree with whatever the person said or did. It's weird. Prime my eyes next. Ooh, that's too dark. Where's a lighter one? I'm gonna mix this with my lighter concealer color. I understand, yes, you wanna hold people accountable to their actions and to the things that they say, but some of it is really a reach. It's like you can't even have an opinion on anything, a differing opinion. I'm gonna use this really pretty eyeshadow palette. <sighs> Look at the colors, they're so pretty. I'm gonna first go into this brown shade here. I'm gonna use the blending E812 brush. Oh wait, did I just, I think I may have just did something, you guys. If you take it a little too inward, you can just take your brush that you use to blend out your concealer and <laughs> it's an eraser. Actually, you know what? I don't wanna say anytime I film at nighttime because I film in the daytime and I get hyper sometimes too. I think it really just depends on my energy level, my mood, and how I'm feeling that day. On camera or on my monitor, it looks more orange, but in real life, it looks more like it's on the cranberry burgundy side. So I'm just gonna call it an orange cranberry. I'm gonna pack that on right in here. I'm gonna switch over to this brush. It is the eyeshadow E831. These are freaking soft, yo. Okay, I'm gonna take off the color off of that E812 brush 
and go into the darkest brown right here. There we go. Now we're getting a little more dimension. You guys ever have one eye that just tends to behave better than the other? Going right back in here. I still don't know where I'm going with this eye look just yet, but I'm sure once we get to our destination, we will know. Oh, another thing we're not going to do is this whole like, someone so copied me, you copied me, he copied me, she copied me. I understand that yes, there can be cases where, you know, it's a little suspicious, like, okay, sis, you did that kind of eye that's not very common. And then this other person did that exact same eye a day later, but some of you, some of you are reaching for the sky. You didn't create a purple smoky eye. You didn't create a gold glitter cut crease paired with a red lip. Come on. I can't even really say that it's like the really big influencers who are um, accused of doing this. Sometimes medium sized or even small creators are accused of this. And a lot of times it's people's fan bases starting trouble. And it just gets so annoying. Like there is nothing new under the sun. In cases of obvious imitation, I understand that. People need to give credit and be held accountable. But sometimes it's just, it's it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, do you know how many creators are on this platform? Do you know how many creators are on Instagram? tens of thousands. There are a lot of people on these platforms. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take this blue and using the eyeshadow E827 brush. Oh, oh, oh. Alrighty then, did not need any sort of um, adhesive or setting spray or wet medium or anything. I'm gonna give myself a bit of a sliver. If you are ever in a situation where you get inspiration from someone's work or you would like to um, duplicate someone's work, please, by all means, give them their credit. If you are falsely, falsely? Falsif falsively? Anyway, if you are not giving people credit and you're benefiting off of their work, essentially, that's wrong. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna use this short shader E806 and dip into the deepest brown. And I'm gonna carve right above the blue shade. And this is another way that you can essentially like fake a cut crease, by the way. And then I'm gonna drag it up further towards this direction. I'm gonna use the E811 blending brush. I personally have actually been accused of copying someone's look. Was it someone's look? No, my intro. That whole like, hello, if you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki. What? On my channel, that intro kind of like evolved in a way. Before that, I had never heard anyone say anything like that. They were like, oh, did she copy so-and-so's intro? They weren't They weren't outright saying it, but they were insinuating it. So I go and check this person's channel and I've, I had never heard of this YouTuber in my life. It was, um, I think it was a young girl. And I don't remember like how many subscribers she had or anything like that. And I listened to her intro and I don't even remember exactly what it was. I think hers also involved, if you've never seen me before, um, my name is so-and-so. And I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? So simply because two people who have never, never crossed paths, somehow come up with a similar idea that one must be copying from the other. And I was just like, there is nothing as a creative that gets that gets creatives more upset than being accused of copying someone's work, especially when you know you didn't copy it. If you know you did it, fine, fess up. But at the end of the day, when you're when you're innocent, you you feel some type of way. Trust me. Like if you're gonna do investigative work, do it with your whole heart. Dot all your T's, dot all your T's, dot all your I's, cross all your T's because it, it sucks putting somebody in that position where they now have to defend themselves. I have another story for you guys. There was actually someone going back into this color. This is before my channel had gotten to the point that it is now. I think this was, yeah, this was the very first like tutorial that kind of low key took off for me. No, it was 2016. My channel was like four to five months old. So I did a holiday tutorial where it was like a glitter cut crease with a nude lip. It was cute. And I changed my mind 
mind, I'm actually gonna cover up more real estate on the eye with this color. Hey guys, so I'm currently editing and I realized that I got so wrapped up doing this glitter look that I actually forgot to tell you guys the rest of the story. So I'm gonna be telling you guys what actually happened in the scenario while the tutorial is playing. I posted it up on Instagram because I actually did an Instagram look, but I didn't film it for YouTube. The look got reposted onto um, several different Instagram pages. I actually refilmed it for YouTube. Tell me why when the video went up on YouTube, somebody asked me if my look was inspired by another YouTuber. By the way, I'm using the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Glitter. It's called Cinderella. And I did mix it with my Lit Cosmetics Cl Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And I got annoyed. I was like, dude, what the heck? Like, no, it was from, it was just like me playing around with my glitters. It was a gold glitter with a specific yellow tone. Mind you, this was around the holiday time. So there are a lot of glitter cut creases going around. I went to the YouTubers page they were referring to and turns out my Instagram picture actually went up before this YouTuber had did this look. So it didn't make any sense as to how I was getting accused of copying someone's work when I actually did the look first. Anyway, this stuff is very silly and to me it's very toxic and people really need to stop because again, there is nothing new under the sun. Two people, more than two people can come up with an idea and it can be incredibly similar or even the exact same. In 2019, just stop pitting influencers against each other. You don't know how many people look in the comment sections of videos and their opinions are formed simply by the comments that they read. A lot of people are just too lazy or just, I don't know, too unbothered to do their own research. The scary thing about the internet is people just take the information that they receive at face value and they're like, oh, well, since you said it, it must be true. Which color should I pick for my waterline? Mint? or regular blue. The mint might look a little better. This is the LA Girl Neon Eyeliner in the shade Fresh. You guys are gonna laugh when I tell you what this glitter is looking like right now. You know when you bite into a Krispy Kreme um, glazed donut and all the cracks of sugar start to, yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> I'm gonna apply my concealer. Ugh, this still creeps me out. I'm gonna probably just take you guys' advice and remove the foam applicator. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Not everybody is copying everybody and please do not allow the characteristics of maybe the few creators you might follow to define all creators. Here's how badly people do not fact check. Can you believe somebody had the audacity to accuse me in my comments of copying the hate comments do my makeup video? from James Charles. They're claiming that I copied the idea from James Charles. I said, hey, see this one. Your three last brain cells are just playing tennis. James, even in his video, said that it was inspired by my video. But you wanna tell me that I, oh, oh God, people are very stupid. I feel like currently with the state of the internet, it's best to just assume that people who comment any nonsense are eight-year-olds eight-year-olds who somehow got the iPad from their parents and, you know, were playing around and clicking buttons they were not supposed to be clicking when their mom or their dad went to the restroom or something. Because I really cannot, I don't understand. I, I really don't understand. I'm really like of the opinion that a lot of people just wanna start drama for no reason. And it's almost like the internet is in this weird state where a lot of people just kind of go clawing for anything that remotely resembles drama or controversy and it sucks and it's like people like that they operate at such a low frequency you can't even really entertain them for long you really can't they will drain you i'm talking about online and offline people like that will drain the life out of you and i'm using my maybelline uh fit me loose finishing powder in 35 deep like i always do I actually had someone write a dis disgusting, despicable comment. This person was spewing a whole ton of hatred towards me. They were talking about how they were so sick of me and how you copy everybody. You're copying everyone, specifically Jackie Ina. I don't know what you would do if Jackie stopped creating content. Hmm. The kind of anger that was erupting inside my body when I read that thing. There are some comments that you'll be like, oh, you know, it's just whatever. But then there are other comments that really just like, 
you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Which leads me to something else <laughs> that really annoys me. People always telling content creators that, oh, you should just ignore it, you know, just learn not to listen to it, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use this uh, blush F604. People are always telling content creators how to feel about the things that are told to them. When you look at it, essentially, your comment section, your channel, your platform is your space. So somebody coming to invade your space with their negativity and toxic energy, it's not just that one person that's doing it, it's multiple people. I am grateful I don't get a whole, whole ton of negative comments unless I get a video that like, you know, goes like into the millions as far as views or whatever. In all honesty, until you have experienced it yourself, you won't know what it's like. And I can say that because I've been watching YouTube for a very long time. I wanna say around like 11, 12 years. It's very easy as a viewer to say, oh, just, just ignore it. You'll be fine, just ignore it. I used to think the same thing and I'd be like, oh, just ignore it. But over time, like there's no way you won't respond or there's no way one, one or two, let's say, in a two or three month period won't irk you. This person essentially went in on me and I was going to comment back and the things I was gonna say, I would not have been proud of. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna block this person because that's really the only way that I can try to move past this without having a sense of resentment. Content creators, we are not robots. We are human beings and people treat a lot of content creators, especially the big ones, ooh, treat a lot of them like they're just robots. Like anything that you say, they're supposed to just take it. Oh, it's your job. Oh, you should be used to it. How about that? How about, no. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. That's a lie. <laughs> and this is the pencil E815 brush. Words leave psychological wounds. I don't know where in the world everyone thought it was okay to just be unnecessarily rude and disrespectful and toxic. It's like, don't you get tired? That person's comment about, you know, oh, you're trying to be like Jackie, Ina, this, 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 and that, and the other. I knew it had to be someone who hadn't been on my channel for a while. Even though I just recently started getting more comfortable with the camera and showing more of my personality, anybody will tell you, anyone who knows me in real life will tell you, this is, this is how I am in real life. I'm such a goofball. The same type of jokes that I make when this camera is on are essentially pretty much the same jokes I make in real life. No one, like who am I pretending for? And it just, it really pissed me off because as you guys know, Jackie is an incredibly influential woman of color here on this platform. And she's been nothing but kind to me and a whole lot of other people. We are both women of color. We're both actually Nigerian, if you didn't know. We both can sometimes be very goofy. Granted, I have a different vibe. I have a different sense of, you know, um, I have different comedic elements. Duh, we're two completely different people. Yet we do have underlying similarities. It really hurts me when like, it's like I'm bearing it all for you on this platform. I'm sitting here and I'm turning the camera on and I'm trying to loosen up so that I can be naturally me as much as possible. I am very shy, don't get me wrong. In person, I can be a very shy and reserved individual, especially around people that I don't know very well. And I can also be that goofy, like what the heck are you doing kind of person. It really just depends on the space. It's just so annoying because you see one incredibly successful content creator and you assume that whoever else dares to crack a joke on their channel or dares to have a little bit of sass in their personality or dares to be extra or glam is somehow trying to emulate this other successful creator. Like where does, I'm gonna use a short shader E806 using this shade here. And yes, I understand that people might be going to like my very first few videos or shoot, even videos up until earlier this year and thinking, oh wait, she has a different demeanor about herself. She's, you know, a bit, a bit more quiet or a bit more reserved or not cracking as many jokes. You have to realize it takes a while to get used to the camera. It takes a while to get to the point where you're like, okay, I'm just gonna be myself. I really don't care what anyone has to say. And if you like me, you like me. And if you don't, you don't. I'm not for everybody. But don't you dare sit there and tell someone that they're trying to be somebody else when they're simply just being themselves. You've never heard of people having similar personalities. You've never heard of people 
having the same type of uh, sense of humors. You've never heard of two completely different people having a certain sense of style. And it's like, Jackie is such a wonderful person. I've met her in real life. I was at her birthday party last year in 2017. And she is an incredibly supportive person. And I just don't see her having malice towards anyone for having a similar person. And to be honest, I don't even feel like we have the same personality because I'm me and she's her. But that one comment was so annoying and, and it was from a person of color. And that's not the only comment I've gotten. I've gotten other comments from other people, usually non-people of color, saying, oh, you're trying to be like Jackie. And it's usually because Jackie is the only person of color uh, content creator who they follow. So it's like their their brain cells are not quite, their neurons are not quite firing off effectively oh this is, this is kind of a look wait a minute hold on all right i just went on like a whole entire rant but it's 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 a very frustrating thing to deal with and it just it gets me upset because it's like why can't there be why can't there be more than one person of color at the top why does that bother people so much do you look at all the extra people on youtube and say oh they're trying to be like this person you don't. You accept their personality for what it is and you say, yes, honey, you are over the top and I love it. But not everyone is granted that same level of grace, right? And I know I sound really intense right now, you guys, but honestly, that is one area of this whole thing that has really frustrated me ever since I became more of Yuki on this platform. And the thing is, even back then, you could see that there were elements of just straight goofiness in my videos. The mistake I made was I would edit out my mistakes. I would edit out me fumbling on my words. I would edit out me making stupid jokes and just being crazy and making weird faces and dance moves and all that stuff. I would edit it out because I saw like YouTube as this like, oh, I need to be professional. And you know, I would basically have my nurse face on in a way. And I got to a point where I'm like, I'm tired. I'm, I got my nurse face on in the daytime. When I'm here and this is my creative space, I want to, you know, be free and just be myself. Um, that's not to take away from the positive comments that I get constantly from you guys and those of you who are so supportive of me and so, so accepting of my personality and the kind of person that I am. So yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. And the positivity that you guys put out will always, always trump the negativity that tends to rear its ugly head every now and then. I feel like something is missing. What we're not gonna do in 2019 is blow things out of proportion. Oh shoot, this would have been perfect. There was another foundation brush I could have used. Oh, and this has such an interesting shape, so I wanted to try this out. This is the F625 foundation brush, and look at the shape. I've got a tapered face brush here, F627. And I'm gonna dip into a highlight that I always use that you guys are probably sick of, but I love it. Oh, there was a point earlier that I was trying to make. I was trying to say, can we not dehumanize content creators? There's so much more on my mind and I'm like literally drawing a blank. I, I knew I should have written down a bullet list. <laughs> Mamacita, uh, I love Sarai and a uh, ColourPop collaboration. Oh yeah, can we stop asking people either when they're gonna get married, when they're gonna have children or assuming that they're pregnant simply because they look different on camera. I feel like it's really rude. Yeah, it's really rude to tell somebody like, oh, are you pregnant? Shoot, no, this is not what I wanted. I wanted the dark one. No wonder I picked up the wrong shade. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte in Ruby Slipper. This is looking alienish. I'm starting to think it's the inner corner color. Does anyone use Gerard Cosmetics anymore? Cause I feel like I don't see their stuff around like I used to. I'm gonna add dots of white eyeliner and I know it sounds crazy, but I've never done this before and I really wanna just give it a try because I saw it on a James Charles video. <laughs> Wait, I'm over here acting like my face is done. I haven't done lashes yet. No wonder I was like, something's missing. I don't know what. I'm gonna use these Onyx lashes from Makeup Shack. So yeah, in 2019, can we just be, you know, more positive please on this platform? like? A lot of creators are really getting drained and you can tell people are having to take more breaks than usual. I feel like this next statement kind of ties into the whole 
dehumanizing creators thing right a lot of people say like oh you shouldn't allow that negativity to get to you or you shouldn't talk about those things on your channel i see it as this sometimes you're gonna have to you're gonna have to talk about it i'm not saying dwell on it but sometimes you're gonna have to talk about it to address it whether to stand up for yourself or to debunk whatever lie someone is spreading it's very hard to tell creators not to talk about things that bother them because this that's what the platform is for this is an outlet i understand that you know when you guys hear a lot of negativity it affects you too but i just don't think it's realistic to expect someone to constantly only be like hi guys it's me again and i just want to tell you guys that i'm so happy today and today we're only going to talk about positive things because positivity is power. That's not realistic at all. We're all human beings. We are all human beings and we all need to express ourselves in some way. And you know, being artistic and being creative is a form of expression. I think this lash is okay, but lashes on this side are just not giving me the effect that I want. The waterline really ties everything in together. I like it. I'm I'm here for it. It's it's real when chunks of glitter go into your bra, come out the other end and end up on your tummy. I thickened up the brows just a little tiny bit, but that is all for this video, guys. Um, thank you for listening to me. These are just some things that have been on my mind for a while. And there are constantly things that are on my mind, but I just try to, you know, just try to do BIM. Cause in all honesty, not everything requires your commentary. I feel like the goals for 2019, focus on your focus, stay away from low frequency individuals and um, keep the bills paid and the edges laid. <laughs> By the way, thank you once again to EIG Show for partnering with me on this video. I really enjoyed using their brushes. They are soft okay especially the face brushes incredibly soft if you guys want to check out this brand i will have a link for you down below in the description box where you can check it out if you did like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button be sure that you hit the bell and click all notifications so that you never miss an upload of mine and follow me on instagram i'm at yuki underscore that's y-o-u-k-e double y underscore but yeah i just hope that 2019 is just filled with a lot of positivity and good health and financial stability and good news and just all around joy and peace of mind for all of us. On that note, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I hope to see you in the next video. Lord willing, stay blessed. Bye.